Hey there, Becky here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to use a little bit of custom CSS to create two buttons in the header of your Squarespace website. Right now, built into Squarespace version 7.1, you can enable one button, but with a little bit of custom code, you can make it look like there are actually two hover effects and all. Now let's hop on into my demo site so I can show you how this works. So here we are in my demo site, and I have the call to action button enabled in my website header, and then one page in my navigation that we're gonna turn into a button. So I do wanna mention, this is specific for version 7.1, but if you're using an older version of Squarespace, you can modify this code for your theme. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this code, which is listed in the description below, and we're gonna to navigate to design, and then scroll all the way down to custom CSS at the bottom. Now, if you already have code here, don't worry about it. Just enter a new line and paste this code, and you'll notice right away the button style has been created. So how this code works is it says in the header navigation, take an active link, and the very last one of those active links Give it a background that's this solid black color. Give it some padding here and make it a solid white color font. So you can change these color codes to anything you want them to be, a hex color code like I have here or a web safe color name, whatever you'd like. But one thing I do wanna mention is this underline right here. In version 7.1, whatever page you're on, your active page will get that underline and I think it's super annoying and I don't like it. So this code right here will actually hide that from your active links. So I'm gonna enter a new line and paste that code right there and we'll get rid of that underline. Now, last but not least, something that makes a button really stand out would be a hover effect. So let's go ahead and create a hover effect for this new button that we've designed. This code is also listed in the description below. I'll just enter a new line and paste it right here. And what this code says is in the header navigation, when you have an active link, that very last one on a hover, change its background to green and the color of the font to yellow. Now check it out. We've got a hover effect for that button. So you can add any type of customization you want here, adjust the opacity, change green to whatever color you want it to be, give it a border, get creative. Whatever you decide to go with, just select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial, and the codes I just shared are listed in the description below, but definitely get creative with those colors and borders and those fun hover effects to really make that button stand out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And if you liked this video, be sure to like and comment below and subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial like this every single week. Thanks again for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I took all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace and put them into one gigantic PDF. Available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.